where we're very much at the point where ideas are much more important than compute. Everyone who trained a model has war stories. We asked top researchers to share theirs. Yeah, I'm, I'm Jake Robertson. I'm a PhD student of uh, Frank Kutte at the Ellis Institute. Yeah, I've been a professor for machine learning in the last 10 years. Recently, uh, we founded a startup, Prior Labs, and I, I still have my university group. But with Prior Labs, we're trying to revolutionize the space of tabular data and build tabular foundation models and also look at yeah, aspects such as fairness and causality. Could you recall a moment from the model training that didn't necessarily go as planned? Yeah, I mean, one, one thing that was difficult for us during uh, during pre-training is, is basically making sure that the data it reflects what, what we expect to see in, in the real world. And something that we needed to do in, in our prior is to is to make sure that there there is a good distribution of data sets that have a lot of bias, mm -hmm. so a lot of effect of the protected attribute, but also some data sets where there is no effect of the protected attribute, and to have a, an optimal balance of these, these different data sets. By doing this, what we were able to do is allow the, the model to perform well on data sets where there is bias, and we need to remove it, but then also in the cases that you just happen to have no bias in your data, the model still, still performs really well. And what tooling do you use to help you surface those issues? We are using 1DB at the moment to, mm -hmm. to monitor our runs. And then, um, yeah, really, when we're dealing with the, the toy cases, we kind of have access to the, to the ground truth uh, fair outcomes. Mm -hmm. um, so then we can just, yeah, calculate how well we're doing with respect to those ground truth fair, fair values. Are you able to share roughly how much uh, compute or wall clock time does it typically burn when you grow, go through those you know, tougher moments? Yeah, I think we, we pre-trained for, for one, or two, one or two days on a, on a single GPU. Um, mm -hmm. So maybe not quite as much as some other, other models. I would say in the tabula space, where we're very much at the point where ideas are much more important than compute. For us, for tabular data, actually just some changes in the architecture dramatically improve performance. And yeah, our state-of-the-art model is 11 million parameters, and it's the best in the world. Is there a particular metric or set of metrics that you're especially keeping an eye on now uh, to maintain the stability of training? I mean, something that's really important is to, to evaluate the, the metrics that you're, you're interested in the end th throughout pre-training. Um, you also want to see those, those metrics, metrics going down um, reliably, so for us it's really like individual level uh, causal effects that we want to see are, are, are decreasing and it's really important to monitor these throughout, throughout the whole project really. Um.